Hey everyone, so this video was actually supposed to be on uh, a really interesting synthesis but as long as that doesn't give me more than like a flask of grey alien tar yields that are consistently lower than 0.1% and also taking up almost a month of my time um, that's not going to happen so we're going to do something a little simpler and that is to make formamide so uh intro now formamide is your pretty typical acid amide um in fact it's the simplest acid amide that exists um yeah it's easily prepared just from ammonia which i have right here in this bucket about half a litre of pretty smelly ammonia solution. It's not too concentrated, but it doesn't have to be. And I'll just have to neutralize this with some formic acid. Uh, this will give us ammonium formate. Um, we can boil that solution of ammonium formate down later. And as we boil it down, first off, all the water will come off. And also, the ammonium formate will also get uh, dehydrated, it'll lose water and give formamide. It's actually really simple, uh, at least compared to other carboxylic acid amides like acetamide where you need like glacial acetic acid and urea and you reflux them for some hours and that's the procedure whereas this is just pre oh, fuck. pretty simple. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're just gonna do that. down to about what 400 mils uh, and yes I did use a stainless steel pot for this because I don't just happen to have a two liter beaker okay uh, anyways um, what we're doing now is we're just distilling off the rest of the water and whatever else comes off really um, for this I'm using this three neck flask uh, with a thermometer in it so we can monitor the solutions temperature because um, as long as this doesn't go over 180, we can keep the formamide from decomposing, but we also need to heat it quite a lot to really drive out the, the rest of the water, I think. Um, I don't know how it will actually behave, but that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, also, doing this in a flask just helps avoid like evaporation, whereas if I would just do this in a beaker, I'd get heaps and heaps of stuff just evaporating off so uh, yeah just gonna see what that turns into okay that was a pretty uh, uneventful distillation didn't take any like, footage of it because well it's just a distillation it's real boring um, it got up to about 155c which is good enough I think really it should get above like 160 or 170 because at that point it really just starts kind of decomposing and releasing a lot of like carbon monoxide which is not good but the slight catch of course is that there isn't very much of it here like yeah that's all of our product there not too much is it yeah, here it is in a little glass bottle. Um, it's about 50 mils of formamide. 
Now, the reason why no one is really making formamide or even using it is because it's just so useless um, in a sense because, well, you can't really use it for a lot of syntheses. Well, it is used industrially for like making pharmaceuticals or something, but really generally it's not very useful, I think. Um, it's kind of got some niche uses as a solvent just because it's very polar and it dissolves stuff like water does, but it's not actually water. But on the other side, it's not really all that compatible with a lot of stuff. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, really, it's just kind of useless, at least compared to other amides like acetamide. But you know what they say, if life gives you some random useless nitrogen compound, make a complex. Alright, this has just somehow turned into water, well not water, ethanol soluble uh, copper sulfate. Uh, it's some complex because it's so like darkly colored for a relatively small amount of copper sulfate actually, but yeah, this is, this is just absolute trash. Um, yeah, I don't know how to end this. Uh, I don't know, till the next time and go get the fuck vaccinated because COVID is some sick shit and uh, bye.